Hi and welcome to another battle report. This is a small game of 750 points. Uh, my brother want to try out his new vampire count codex, so we did. And here's his army. He have two filberts. In that big block of zombies, he have a necromancer level two with four up war. <laughs> then he have unit of skeleton with a vampire with the ogre blade and three spirit hearts and that's it for his army and this is my army i didn't bring an army so i just borrow his uh, rulers i have 15 dryads then i have 10 glade guards with true flight and a level two a level one lore of fire with rivering and a captain with hail of doom arrow and fighting blade then i have five war dancers and three Warhawk Riders. So for his first turn, not a lot of things happen. He get off uh, Gaze of Nagash on my archer and kill two of them. And uh, he just pushes up his unit a bit. And for my turn one, I took my Warhawk Riders and slides them down his flank. I took my Dryads and pushed them up a bit. And I take my war dancer into that uh, poison forest, and uh, that's it for my movement. In my magic phase, I didn't manage to do anything, uh, but in the shooting phase, my glaive guard uh, kills his felbeds. So over to the vampire count, turn two. His Vampire hero switches place with his necromancer, so his vampire hero is within the zombies, and his necromancer was in his skeleton. Uh, the spirit host failed a march test, so they couldn't get any further. And uh, in the magic phase, he got off invocation, so his zombie unit and skeleton unit got a little bit bigger, but that's it for his turn two. So for Woodhoff, turn two. My plan here was to triple charge his zombies with the uh, Dryads, the Warhawk Rider and the Dancers, but the Dancers fail and only move up a couple of inches. And the Dryads and the Warhawks, as you can see, made it into combat. And that was basically what I did in my movement phase. In the magic phase, I get off a fireball on his spirit host and I use the Hail of Doom arrow and I manage to take off uh, seven wounds of his spirit host uh, this turn. In combat, I didn't manage to do so much, so basically, we just uh, end up over there uh, and he have a lot of zombies still remaining. So for his turn 3, um, what he did is uh, his spirit host charged my war dancers and uh, he didn't charge his skeleton unit into the back of my warhog rider because he decided that it was risky to maybe lose his wizard but I think um, charging the rear of my warhog rider would have been the right decision for him to do. Uh, but anyway, he stand there. So in combat uh, with the war dancers, um, he kills uh, one or two of them. But I have the dancers give me three up ward. So uh, and I'm stubborn in the forest, so I didn't break. And in the combat with the zombies, my unit really goes to town with him, and he don't have a lot of them left. So over to the Udo. Turn. Not a lot happened. Um, so we go directly to combat. As you can see in the bottom of this picture, his spirit host is gone, and that's because my uh, glade captain charged and he had the biting blade, so he managed to kill, do a lot of wounds to them. They did a wounds to him, but uh, they die from combat dress. And uh, in the combat uh, with zombies, I kill all the zombies. Hugo and Pilot kill some of my dryads, but it ended up losing by one, so he suffers a wound. And uh, that's it for Wolf turn 3. So for when 
backup accounts. Turn number four. He did the right choice and he sent his skeleton warriors into the back of my warhawk riders. And that's it for his moment. In the magic phase, he throws off a um, small level uh, raise invocation spell on his skeleton unit and he rolls triple six. And then he rolls a three, so he explodes, he gets sucked into the void. Uh, most of his skeleton units dies and he takes a warhawk rider uh, down also. And yeah. And in combat, um, he, my dryads managed to kill his vampire lord. Uh, we did a mistake here. Um, I played the dryads at strength 4 and toughness 3, but it should be they have strength 3 and toughness 4. So that's uh, a mistake on my part. Uh, hopefully, it didn't influence the game as much. I think uh, some uh, less of them would have died, and some. Um, less zombies would have died uh, so I hopefully it ended up as even as it could but I do manage to break kill his vampire heroes anyway and his skeleton managed to break my warhog riders and they run away and he only rolls a 7 and I roll an 8 and I get away and he overruns into the flank of my dryads and in the end of his turn, he have to roll a uh, crumble test for his skeleton, and he rolls a double six, so they all died. So it ended up being a big victory for the wood elves. Uh, uh, he didn't take anything on my units, even though my triads and warp rides were pretty less few in numbers remaining. But it was an interesting game to try out these two new armies for us. So that's it. Um, it's kind of a new format doing this battle rep of a smaller point game. But I think it's kind of a bit more interesting because you can see a very brilliant maneuver can really make your army shine. And a very bad maneuver can really uh, sink your army to a loss. And uh, well, if you like what you just have seen, feel free to subscribe like or if you have any question or anything just leave a comment below that's it for me see you around